prayer today, we are going to be looking at uh, 10 days of healing. 10 days of healing. Remember, this is the healing center. So, we are going to be touching some part of this uh, 10 days of healing. Probably, let's see whether we can cover day one on these 10 days of healing. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you for returning to this channel to view our video once again. I've been doing something on these 10 days of healing before, but I just want us to have you know, a new feel of it. This is a book that is put together by Pastor George Pearson and Terry Pearson. 10 Days of Healing. The number one we are going to be looking at, yes, but let's, yes, but will he, that is sound. Um, Day three on this ten days of healing. Sorry. Day three. Day three. Let's see. Okay. This is day two. Let's look at day one. Day one says renewing your mind to good health. Renewing your mind to good health, that is the one. You have to make up your mind to be renewed within. I remember when I was going through um, challenges in my health, one of the challenges I was going through was the things that I was accustomed to, okay, that God uses sickness to teach his people a lesson. I don't know how or where I got to hear that, but I stored it in my mind and the thing affected me seriously in the early days of what would have been easier for me to assess the healing power of God by renewing my mind to good health. Because the healing starts first from your mind. If your mind is not renewed, then it will be difficult. That stronghold that has kept you away from assessing sound health would still keep you back and make you feel that it is the will of God for you to be sick. But that is not the case. So today, let's look at um, the A part of this. The A part of this is um, the three four papers for this series. Number one, to invest our time, to invest our time, A, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, it says, faith for healing comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God about healing. Faith for healing comes by hearing, and hearing of the word of God about healing. That is uh, a part of this number one. Then I says, or a robot told me we have to hear something seven times in order to get it. You know, we have to hear something seven times in order for us to get it. Or a robot speaking to Kenneth Copeland. B says, or I, I says, a man asked Kenneth E. Hagin why he kept teaching on Mark 11 23. Brother Hagin responded that he would move on to something else when you get it. So getting it is key. And the reason why we want you to get it is we want you to be healed. We want you to be totally healed, for you not to be carried away by the fact that it is the will of God for you to be sick. And that is a strategy God is using to discipline you for what you did wrong or 
something of that. That's not the plan of God. Remove that from your mind. Renew your mind for healing. Your mind needs to be renewed. And when your mind is renewed, things start happening around you. Good things. You start seeing yourself living in a heaven and on earth kind of life where your life is you know every form of pain and sickness vanishes it will be like a dream that you can't see them anymore in your life why because your mind has been renewed the paper says 10 days of total immersion of inhaling we are going to immerse you in these 10 days inhaling remember the papers whatsoever the sickness is don't uh, feel that okay because mr b or mrs b or mr a or mrs a or whatsoever happened something you know they eventually didn't make it no your case has to be different when you immerse yourself in the word of god as we are speaking it fake it the truth of god's word as the final say regarding your health then you start seeing new things happening in your life you start seeing new things happening in your life when new things happen around you it makes it easier for people around you to connect to faith you know i have experienced that you know i keep telling myself this i say i and the children the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and for wonders unto the Lord God of hosts, who dwells on Mount Zion. And I don't take it for granted. And I tell myself this, I belong to the strong, healthy and faith-filled family. Remember, faith about healing comes by hearing. So when you keep hearing this, when you keep listening to this message, when you keep listening to this episode, one, you know, over and over again. It might be a 10 minutes message, but you keep immersing yourself into it. Then you start seeing things start happening, start unfolding in your life. So it's 10 days of total immersion in healing. Number two, to renew our minds. A, we must experience a change in our belief system concerning our health. It is God's determination for us to live in divine health. Do you know that? What else is in your mind concerning God's purpose for your life? God's determination for your life? What else has occupied that space? You have to start you now putting them and start replacing it with the fruit of God's word. He said, I want my people well. That is the word of God. He said, I want my people well. My people are not the sick trying to get well. Remember this, don't allow you to skip your mind. It says, they are the healed and Satan is trying to steal their health from them. If there is anything that you forget about this episode, just have this thing at the back of your mind. It says, my people are not the sick trying to get well. They are the healed, and Satan is trying to steal their health from them. Number three, he said, to receive our healing. A receiving of our healing has nothing to do with God's willingness to heal. The work of healing is completed. It's complete. It has everything to do with our capacity to receive the work of Jesus, the work that Jesus has already accomplished. This is just the one, a part of it we just looked at. I don't know what is going on in your mind, what is going on in your mind right now, because that is the only thing that will make the whole difference. What is going on in your mind? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Is Jesus the Lord of your life? Remember, if He is the Lord of your life, the issue of healing, you will not be carried away. You will not die under depression thinking that God is done with you 
That is why you're going through this very soon. You're going to lose your life. No. Tell yourself, I'm unstoppable. Overthinking is allowed. Tell yourself, I refuse to be sick. But before then, have you given your life to Jesus? Remember the ultimate. The purpose of this is for you to identify with Jesus. Knowing that he is the only one that can take you from where you are right now to the place of living a life of heaven on earth. Just so you need to make peace with him in order for you to assess his power in your life. Let's pray together. Just pray after me say, Dear Lord, thank you for your word. I give my life to you. Forgive me my sins. Erase my name from the book of death. Write it in the Lamb's book of life. Take my life and make a miracle out of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So thank you for making this decision. I welcome you to the family of God. I encourage you study the word of God again and again. And you will see the difference it will make in your life. Your life will not be the same. Keep winning. Before I say bye, I want to pray over your health. I declare that the, the power of God touches you. Your brain marrow heals you of every disease, every sickness. Touches your, your sinew, your veins. In the name of Jesus, I command every spirit of sickness hovering over your life. Over every hospital where you you may be at this point in time. I cast out that spirit of infirmity from your body. I declare that the healing power of God touches you. Receive a total healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you for being a part of this. Keep winning and see you in our next video. Bye for now.